because we don't keep God's commandments. Right. right. We don't keep God's commandments. But no. we're living in a crazy world. Right, but this is the same world that Christ lived in. Right. You understand? And he kept God's commandments. Right. right. So what do we have to do? And keep God's commandments. There you go. So that's how we show that we love God, when we keep his commandments. That's right. So what's, what's your question? I want to make sure I answer your question. Well, because one of us, why we going through it for so long, I feel that since we had already come through slavery and we done got to this point, I don't see no light at the end of the tunnel because now that we get toward the end of the tunnel, they're killing our black men. I mean, you know, and that's they are seized. So, and it's just getting so crazy. Then the money about to lose its value. When does this madness stop? When does it stop? You want to know when it stops? Yeah, come to some sort of something. It looks like it's getting bigger. It's getting worse, right? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Get uh, Revelations chapter 22, I think. You know what I want? Um, there will be no more curse. That's right. All right, because right now, what's your name? Myra. Miss Myra. I'm Officer Caillou. All right, right now, we're living under a curse mm -hmm. because our people hate God. That sounds real harsh, right? Right. But our people hate God. Right. We I hate God. I don't think we hate God. I think it is 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 the understanding. All right. Everybody can't teach and everybody can't show. He just said, I'm going to teach in childhood. Mm -hmm. I didn't have children, but what if I had young boys that I needed to teach so that by the time they met you, you well, wouldn't be talking a foreign language? Well, we'll, 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 we'll help guide you with that. He made a general, a general statement. Okay. What he was saying was general was for, in general, generally speaking, women shouldn't be teaching men, right? right. Generally speaking, right? Now, there are uh, situations where you'll have a woman who has young men, children, right? right? right. And the Bible yeah. provides guidance on how the woman is supposed to deal with those children. Okay. But we have to show you that in the scriptures, okay. right? All right. And if you saw that, would you submit to it? Yeah. So the problem with our community is many of us don't understand what's written in the book. True. Right? That's why we come out here to teach. Okay. We come out here with imagery, right? We come out here with a speaker so that we can cry aloud and show everyone their transgressions. Okay. Because there's no way for us to properly love God without loving him how he says to do it. Right. right. You understand what I'm saying? Read what you got. Revelation chapter 22 verse 3. Come on. And there shall be no more curse. The Bible says there shall be no more curse. Come on. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. Of the who? Of the Lamb. Who's so the Lamb? Jesus. Yes. Right? So when Christ comes back to the earth, he's going to set all of this in order. Right. You understand what I'm saying? When Christ comes back to the earth, he's going to set the whole world in order. Right. And when, when he does that, at that point, there will be no more curse. Right. Until then, where are we living? Do you know? Hold on. Until then, where are we living? On the earth. We living in hell. That's this right. is hell right now. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is hell for us. Yeah. Right. So we need to, we need to be delivered from this. Well, you, know. yeah. you understand? So we're not going to be delivered from this until when? Until when? The curse is until over. Christ comes back yeah. and delivers us from the curse. Right. right. Right now we're still under the curse. Why? Because of, because of sin. Yes. Very good. Give me uh First John chapter five verse three. But what about Kemet? Do you know about Kemet? Yes. So I try to put those two together and it caused a little confusion. Right. Because those two aren't to be yoked together. Right. One is true and one is a lie. Right. One is for your people. One is for the heathens. You understand? That's what that means. So, Read what you got. Hold on, I'm gonna show you something. First John chapter five, verse three. Come on. Yeah. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. Our people hate God. Mm -hmm. You see why, right? Mm -hmm. Read it again. For this is the love of God. Our people hate God. We hate God. You know how I know that? Wow. Because we don't keep God's commandments. Right. right. We don't keep God's commandments. But no. we're living in a crazy world. Right, but this is the same world that Christ lived in. Right. You understand? And he kept God's commandments. Right. right. So what do we have to do? And keep God's commandments. There you go. So that's how we show that we love God, when we keep his commandments. That's right. But we hate God. We hate God. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how. I don't think it's hate. I just think we're dealing with so much upon this earth. How do we show that we love God? How do, why do they still killing these people around here? How do we, we show? We can't stop it. Listen, listen. So that's why they're in that state of mind. Right, but it, start, it starts with us, right? right? Because we killing each other out here. Well, yeah. Right? I can't properly love you, right, if I hate myself. Right. right. I'm a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite if, if, I, if I do unto you as I would not to do to myself. Right. right. 
right? If I treat you a certain way, but I wouldn't want you to do that to me, I'm a hypocrite, right? Yeah. If I treat you any type, if I dog you out, dog your daughters out, you understand? Mm -hmm. If I was to roll with that type of spirit, but then be upset when you did that to my children or you did it to my cousin or you did it to my sister, I'm a hypocrite, right? right. You understand? The Bible teaches us to love each other, but we don't, we hate God. So do we keep that commandment? We didn't keep it a commandment. Is there I boyfriends think. and girlfriends in our community? Yeah. All right. Is our is our fathers leaving the homes? But how do you gonna get your Hold wife? On. Is if our father no girlfriend is boyfriend? Our, is our fathers leaving the homes? Yes. Yes, they are. Right. The women in our homes are they submitting to the man? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, right? The Bible says all the time in all things. Yeah. So these are problems that we have within our community. Why? Because we hate God. We're not keeping God's commandments. Right. All right. All right. So read that again. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. You know what I'm chapter 22 verse 5. I'm going to show you a commandment. All right. This is a commandment that today most of our people don't keep. All right. And this is how we express to God that we hate him. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Read it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Pants pertain to men. You know that. Right. Yes. Yes. This is an easy commandment that our sisters could fix. They could get in right relationship with God simply by changing the way that they dress. That's right. Okay. A, a, a woman could do that. Right. They have full control of that. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But for one reason or another, right. we make excuses on why we cannot do that right. on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. So because of that, are we in right relationship with God? No, we're not. And what are we saying to him? We're mm -hmm. saying that we hate him. Right. Right. right? If we want to say that we love God, what do we have to do? Keep his commandments. You got to keep his commandments. That's, That's right. right. That's what this whole Bible is about. So the reason that you see your people oppressed, the reason that you see your people dying in the streets, right? Get us. Uh, we read it earlier. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. We're going to read it again. You weren't here, so we'll read it again. But the reason why we're getting killed in the streets this way is because God has a, a problem with us, his people. Just like you would with your children if you told them to live a certain way, to do something. Right. As a child, and they live within your home. That's right. How are you going to deal with them? You're going to punish them. Right? You're going to beat they behind. You're going you're gonna to tell them to go get their own switch off mm -hmm. the tree. That's what you're going to do. Right. Why? So that they can feel it and remember it. So that when they get older, they don't leave from that. Right? Read what you got. Zechariah chapter 11 verse 4. Whose possessors slay them. Our possessors slay us. Why? Read the verse above it. Verse 4. Thus said the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter. Who is the flock of the slaughter? We are, right? That's why you ask, why are we getting killed in the streets this way? That's our whole people. I'm talking black, Hispanic, Native Americans scattered across the whole earth. Right. We're not just here in America. We're scattered everywhere. Right. But why are we living in the ghetto? Why are our fathers leaving the home? Why are our children growing up in broken homes? Mm. Why are we suffering the way that we do? Why can't we get a good job? Why do they offer us the bottom of the band right. when we get a job? Right. Why, why, why is that? Why is that? Because we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Because we're not doing what we're supposed to do. That's what we're trying to teach. That's what we're trying to show you in the Bible. That's right. Right? We have to go out and, and, and show God that we're ready to be obedient. Right. That's what we have to do. And when we do that, God says he'll have mercy upon us. But until then, he's not dealing with us. He's not dealing with us. Just like after a certain point of time, you're dealing with your child. He gets older and older. Oh, he's still not listening to you. What's going to happen? What's going to happen to your child? He's still not listening to you. You get older and older and older. He leaves. He leaves? Does he leave or you put him out? Well, one or the other. Right. One or the other is going to happen. That's what happened to us. Hmm. Both, actually. We left and the Lord put us out. That's right. You understand? That's what happened to us. And said, you can't come back home until you get yourself straight. That's what we are as a people. Right? So what we're trying to do is gather our oh people together goodness. under Christ. Right. The teachings of Christ. All right? Read on. Whose possessors slay them. Who possesses us today? Mm. Who possesses us today? Mm. Who owns us? Mm. Who tells us when we can? We can't even show these signs right now. Right. Because our possessors came out here and said, y'all need to turn those over. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So who, who are the possessors that slay us today? Mostly the white man. Yeah. They run the earth. That's right. The earth has been given to them according to the Bible. You know, right. That's what the Bible says. Right. The earth has been given to them, but the earth was created for you. That's what the Bible says. 
That's what the, the Bible says that the whole earth was created for God's people. That's right. The ones that keep his commandments. The ones that look just like him. What color is God? Black. He's black. That's right. You know that. It's right? coming out. You know and that. They don't want it to come out. That's you know right. that. All right. So these are the truths that we have to believe in to make a difference in our community. Without b truly believing these things and making a change, there, there, there will be there, there will be no impact. There will be no change. There will be no manifestation of this hope that we say we have. It won't. It will not exist. Well, I'm gonna keep this paper. These ladies are waiting for me, so I can't stay long. I've already been out here about an hour. Hold on, They're before you leave, get thing. Titus. I'm gonna show you something because you asked about teaching and how you deal with the children and all of that. All right. Yeah. So, you tell me if our women today are capable of doing this. Read what you got. Titus chapter 2 verse 3. Come on. Out. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So God says that the aged woman needs to be holy in their behavior, right? Who are the aged women? Who are the aged women? The, the elderly or the older ones. The older ones, right? The ones that have children. They might have grandchildren. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's who the subject of this verse is. Read yeah. on. Not false accusers. Not what? Not False accusers. So the aged woman shouldn't be false accusing people of things that are not true. You understand what I'm saying? Do our women do that today to their husbands? <laughs> um, in their emotions? Yeah. Well, in yeah. their emotions, do they yeah. falsely accuse their husbands of things? Yeah. Right. Yes, they do. Yeah, but I think that's about a demonic force. It is. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. No question about that. But is that excusable because of that? Should we excuse that behavior because it's a, from a demonic force? Well, I guess no. We can you know what we need to do? It, but when you're actually we living need to, it. We need to stop dealing with the devil. Well, if right, we yeah. stop dealing with the devil, that's then right. we'll stop dealing with those demonic that's forces. True. Right. That's true. You understand? It's not excusable for me to, if I was a, if you being a woman, right? It's not excusable for you to talk to your man like a man just because you got pants on. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? That's not excusable behavior. So we have to stop dealing with the devil altogether. You have to right. take the pants off, put a dress on, right. dress modestly, right. cover yourself up. Right. right. These are the things that our women have to learn how to do. So, so, so then, as a result of that, your spirit changes, right. and now you know how to respect and have reverence and fear for this man You're because right. y'all not equals anymore. Yeah, but you know that black woman is a strong woman. She can put up with so much. She's a strong woman, right? Right. And that's why she needs a strong man. That's right. Right? And right. there's no stronger man than a black man that believes in this Bible. That's, That's right. right. He keeps God's commandments. So there's no reason, no excuse for the black woman to not submit to a God-fearing black That's man right. that's right. keeping God's commandments. That's right. Right? But they're fine few. They're, 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 you're looking at a, lot, a bunch of them right here. Bring it out. Yeah, but These men are married. They... These men got children. These men ain't going out cheating on their wives. That's right. Yeah, if they do, we're going to put them out the congregation. That's right. how we get right. down. I got about, what, 10 women at that house. It's living the right life, but the men are not there. You say living the right life. Do they wear pants? They living the wrong life. Right. You understand what I'm saying? They living the wrong life. Right. They don't right. know right from wrong right now. Right. We got to teach them that. Right? But many of our women don't want to conform their minds to that. That's right. That's the problem that we have within our community. Nation is men leading by example. 